What's up everyone, Steven here from TechMaker Studio. This is building a Node.js API from scratch part two. In the last episode, we essentially got an index page set up um, or a root path that's rendering out a list of two dogs in an array. You can see that here, it just looks like a very, very basic JSON API. And then we have an individual endpoint where we can put in slash dogs slash and then an ID and get back a specific one from the list. As you can see, I have another application open down here, which is called Postman. And if you're not familiar with this, you're going to want to install it because it's going to allow us to interact with our API in a more rich way. And I believe this should be available on all platforms. If it's only available on Mac, I apologize. There's probably a similar software. I just haven't used Windows in forever. Um, nothing against the Windows people. It's just what I know. Um, so you can see what's going on down here is we have essentially kind of a browser looking thing. We have a URL bar and we have this uh, get request and when we click send we get the same result that we get above. So if I go to slash dogs slash one and I click send I'm going to get exactly what I have above in my web browser. So the difference is we actually have this ability to submit other kinds of requests. So for example, we can submit a post request, put patch delete, and then a bunch of other things that are less common. So what we want to do is get this set up so that our app can actually handle these different sorts of requests. Now before we can do that, we have to install some new software. Specifically, we need to load this node body parser. Body parser. There we go. Let me bring this down so it's easier to see. So essentially this allows us to process things that are in the request body in our node service over here. So if you look back over in Postman, you see you have this option here for body. So we can include things in here with different keys. So you could be like name, and then we could have, you know, uh, Jackson or whatever. And so that becomes part of the request body. And then there's different options here. You can have form data, form URL encoded, so on and so forth. So what we need to do is in our um, terminal over here, we need to npm install body parser so that we can actually process this stuff as it comes in. And then what we're going to do is just basically copy in, well, let me let me scroll down to their full example down here so we get everything set up correctly. It's way down here. Okay, cool. So after we require express, and you want to make sure you require all these things and, and put all these things in the correct order, we're going to add the body parser. Then after we say app is express, we're going to say app.use body parser URL encoded extended false. And then we're going to say app.use uh, body parser .json like this and this should give us the ability to do what we want to do um, I don't know what this is for let's see here um, you know what let's see this example it demonstrates adding body parser specifically to the routes that need them let's copy this I don't know if we need this for sure but let's just copy it in since they have it in the documentation now you know what let's leave that out let's leave that out and let's try it as is okay so let's come over here and let's npm run start so I think basically we should be set up um, so the other example was how to add it to a specific route I want it on all routes for simplicity and then I don't know what this is for the set header thing um, we'll come back to that if we need it Okay, so now we need to define a post route. So let's say app.post, and we'll just put it on slash dogs, not logs, dogs. And then we'll have our request response. And we'll just console.log, and then we'll say request.body to make sure that's coming across. And then we'll res.json just a message that everything is okay. 
Okay, and then we'll need to restart the server actually. Okay, so we're gonna try to post to slash dogs. And you can see we've added the body name Jackson. We could say other thing. And it's the number six. And we click send. And you can see here on the left, we have name Jackson other thing six coming across. So that means everything is working. So I'm gonna do one more quick thing in this episode and then we're gonna wrap it up. And in the next episode, uh, which will be out tomorrow, we're gonna integrate Mongo and Mongoose here, uh, which we I just put out a little episode that I'll link to in the description on exactly how to interact with the database with Mongo and Mongoose. Um, and we'll just go ahead and integrate that into this little app in the next episode. So basically we want to have two other things in order to have a complete API. We'll have app.put and this will be slash dogs slash ID because we're updating a specific one. And we can also log out the request body here. And then, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna change all this out in the next episode. And then the next thing we need to do is delete. And so this is actually gonna have the ID here as well. And this one won't have a request body. Um, in, in actual fact, we can just console.log the uh, request.params.id and then do the same thing here and we'll say deleting uh, let's do this dog and then we'll pass in the request.params.id and then this one we'll say updating so I just want to make sure that all of our routes work and you get the sense of how this actually works with these HTTP methods so we'll restart our server here and we'll come into our uh, URL and we'll say slash one and we'll run an update uh, put that is I'll click send and you can see over here we're updated dog well it says updated dog one message updated is that what I typed updated yeah I thought I said updating anyway doesn't matter it's all good and then delete is the same thing deleting dog one so you can see that over here so essentially now we have the routes defined that we need and like I said in the next episode we'll hook up Mongo and we'll be done. Um, we may do some further episodes on things like security tokens and stuff like that but those will be sort of separate. Um, in any case um, if you're enjoying this be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you in the next episode.